welcome. Today's special is a large pepperoni. Hi everyone, welcome to Game Night in the North, a show that's all about games, but definitely not a game show. My name's Jason, and I'm going to be your host for today as we play Llama from Amigo Games. I'm especially excited to be previewing this game today, as this game isn't even out on the market yet at the time of us filming today. It's scheduled to arrive uh, sometime in September 2019, but we've got a copy of it here ahead of time, and we're going to play it and teach you how to play it in this episode. At the end of the episode, we're going to be voting on one unfortunate soul who's going to be sitting here beside me in the hot seat and the hot seat is the one place you don't want to be because we're going to take some delicious hot wings and we're going to be covering them today in Da Bomb Beyond Insanity Hot Sauce which has a very good reputation for being a very hot and terrifying sauce so somebody for whatever reasons we decide on is going to have to sit in the hot seat and suffer through a wing so stay tuned I'm going to bring in my panel of guests and we'll get the action underway and we're ready to start playing. I've been joined by my three panelists for the day. Joining me on my immediate left is Aaron. Aaron is a purveyor of fine board games all across Canada. Uh, thank you for joining us today, Aaron. Not a problem. Thanks for having me. Always a pleasure to play an Amigo title. I'm excited too because it was thanks to Aaron and his help that we were able to get our hands on this early preview copy and bring this exciting game to our viewers before it even releases on the market. To my immediate right now is Matt Clayton. Matt is an excellent board game player in his own right and a consumer of the hottest of hot wings. Thank you for joining us again today, Matt. I'm really happy to be here. And then at the far end of the table, joining me is Michael Gemmel. Michael, I've gotten to know through our mutual love of board games. Michael is a member of the Dex Envoy program in which he goes around and helps players discover new games, teaches them how to play, and just shares the love of board games all around. So thank you for joining us today, Michael. Thank you for having me and teaching me a new game. I, I, you know, I do go around teaching people, but man, do I love learning a new game, and this is a new game to me. Speaking of which, how do we play? Well, we're going to start by each being dealt out a hand of six. So Jason is going to deal us out six cards each. Uh, and then it's a fairly simplistic style game. Uh, whatever card is flipped up to start with, uh, we can then play either the same numeric card or the one directly above it. So if a four is flipped over, we can play a four or a five. If a six is flipped over, we can play a six or a llama. Llama? A llama, that's right. So llama is taking the place of seven in this particular card game as the highest number. However, it is worth ten points at the end of the round, and you do not want points in your hand at the end of the round. So this is a game where you wish to get rid of your hand rather than to keep it. What happens if you have points in your hand at the end of a round? So you get markers to determine exactly how many points you have. The first person to get to 40 points, that's where the game ends, and whoever has the most points loses. I see there's white and black pips. Correct. Uh, what's the points difference? So we've got a one-point chip and a ten-point chip, the one point being white, the ten being black. Okay, fair enough. And just when somebody reaches 40 points total, the game ends? The game ends, that's correct. Okay. Now on your turn, you do have one of three actions, and we're going to let uh, Aaron start us off starting with a one. Now he can choose to either play a card from his hand, being a one or a two, or he may draw from the pile. If he does choose to draw from the pile, he may not then play a card, or he can fold his hand and quit the round altogether. Wait, I well, thought the goal was to play. Why would yeah. I want to fold my hand? So you'd want to fold your hand in case, let's say you started your first hand and you had five or six ones. That might be a really good opportunity to mitigate the amount of points that you end up with at the end of the round. Once three of the four of us have folded our hands down, the last player can't continue to draw and must play out their final hand. If they're stuck with points at the end of that that's greater than the amount that you've just folded down, you're going to get them stuck with more negative points than yourself. And that's a win. All right. Yes, like golf, we want the that, lowest That's score. how llamas win. Correct. Um, I'm going to follow up with a two here. Excellent. All right. Well, I will stick with the theme and go for another two. I will draw. I'm lucky that I have a two, so I will play that. I'm going to bump this up to the three. I see your three and match it. I'll bump this up to the four. Mm, four, my lucky number. I too have a four. <laughs> four, 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 around. four fours? Interesting. I've got to cut this nonsense out. Five. 
I don't like fives. You don't like fives? No, but I'm a fan of sixes. Sixes. Uh, I will have to draw. <gasps> so what are the options right now? It's a six or? Or a llama. Six or a llama. Okay. Six or a llama. Okay. Well, llamas are very pretty, so I'm going to play one there. They I are. I like llamas, too. Mike, do you like llamas? Uh, no. <laughs> Mike does not like llamas. Shame on you. I will also play a llama. I always thought that llamas were number one in my book. Ooh. Uh, I you, you don't feel about being number one in your book? Oh, uh, do I am going to cease in the round. That seems like a strategic play. I'm also going to lock myself in right now. You're going to play this three? I will play a four. I'm going to lock out. Ooh. See, so no drawing, right? I no drawing. can't draw. So I will have to play a four. And I'll have to play a four. Uh oh. And I'll have to play a five. Oh, oh man. What? What? <laughs> was that a magic trick? <laughs> what happened? My hand is gone. <laughs> so what did you guys get stuck with? Uh, I, I don't want to know. I ended up with what looks like 11 points, but in this game, when you're scoring doubles, don't count. So I have six points. I'm a little better off. I only have one point. I have 10. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 10. Somebody likes I would have got stuck with more had I not, uh, had I kept drawing. <laughs> All right, that's All right. good. I like this that's stuff. That's great. <laughs> it's a good start. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but there's an opportunity for me to redeem this. If I manage to go out completely, um, then I can actually return a chip. Well, it, can, it doesn't have to be just a, a white one. It can be any pip. It can Correct. be any pip. Ooh, so if you go out first, you could get rid of all ten points. All now, ten points. can oh. I bank the fact that I went out with? You may not. <laughs> <laughs> so who leads this next one? Who's going to start kick us, us off? Because I was last uh, in last time. I'll let Jason start since I dealt. All right. Okay, that seems fair. Uh, starting off. Llamas are number one in my book. I would agree. Two? Unless they're llamas named Cusco. It's <laughs> not number one in my book. That was a great impression. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> Caught me off guard. My lucky number four. So now, just to, to clarify, Aaron, do you have 30 points? <gasps> oh I word. do. Could you actually trade this in for a black token for me? Is a thing that you can do. So we're getting close to the game ending. Potentially. Potentially. Now, now if Aaron were to go out with, without any cards, as he could have on that last round, he would actually be at... 20. Yeah, well, actually, less or than less. that. Yeah, yeah. 16. But what, a little little subnote fact about Aaron is he loves to eat hot wings, so he. he I may sabotage myself from. He may sabotage himself knows. just for the delicious flavor. So I guess action's to you. It mm -hmm. is, and lucky me. Lucky me, I'll play a five. Yeah, I'll go in with that. Mm, yep. Uh, yep. 
staying alive with number five. No. Oh, uh, yeah. Still no. Number one? You're number one in my book, Jason. Uh, you're oh, number you one in my book. Oh, well, you didn't skip the one. No, I don't know. Three? Three? Three. Four. I'm out. Interesting. Ooh. I'm going to test my luck here. See how this goes. Interesting. Three people are in. I think that's not bad. And I'm going to keep drawing because oh, I still am not having luck with that four. Can you draw me a card? Absolutely. He already did preemptively. I'm glad everyone's still in this. Still drawing. I'll need another one. What? <laughs> I should have locked in. Oh, that doesn't help me any. Draw. Go, go ahead. One more, please. <laughs> oh. Did we play all the fives? Something has gone terribly wrong. We did here. play five in a row. How many fives are in the deck? That's an excellent question. That is an excellent question. <laughs> I have no we, clue. We, we may be playing a dead hand here. I was uh, going to say, if you draw down, that does end the round. True. Okay. Yeah. You drew, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to carry on. Wayward son that I am. I have no choice but to play this out. Um, so I'm drawing. Okay. We're pot committed at this point. I'm so glad you're committed. I'm I'm in. I'm in. Let's do this. It's gonna be a flurry when it actually happens. <coughs> I don't think it's happening. Well, here's a four. Here's another four. Here's another four. Oh come on. I was hoping <laughs> one of you would have a five. Ah, okay. Okay. Now, I did I go out with four fives with five oh fives already goodness, being played? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> my goodness. Sabotage. That would be really weird. I think I lost this. I love you, but I hate you. I want to <laughs> see this to the end. <laughs> I feel like we should have given up miles ago. This has gone terribly wrong. Okay. Today on the I director's cut of right Game to the end. North, the right two hour to the round end. Go ahead. of llamas. Five. There it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, the We're floodgates there. have opened. Release the sixes. Six. Oh. Llama. Llama. One. Uh oh. That's not good. Go ahead. Two. Two. Wait, it's his turn though. Oh. It doesn't yeah. matter. I'm still playing that. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I'll play one as well. Oh, no. no, 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 silly McNeil. No. That was a misgrab. <laughs> you don't know that I have that too. Oh, you're locking in. Is that it? You're locking in? I am locking in. Okay. I do feel like most of the fours have likely been played. I'm just locking in. So you can play out your hand. Play it out. Well, uh, he would have the choice to play it out before you locked in. He drew. No, oh, he drew. Yeah. drew. He drew. So that's it then. If he can play it out, though. Only there was a four. <laughs> if only there was. <laughs> All right. So I'd like oh to boy. start counting my points first okay. with three, three points. points. I also got three, three points. points. Okay, I'm going to suffer because <laughs> I'll be taking 12 points, but it's probably not the worst. How did it work out for you, Michael? Catched up quick. He's got uh, 30, 30, 33 points. Mm -hmm. That's your new total, right? That's my new total. Okay. Had, he, his total before the round was zero. <laughs> zero to 33. You're kidding. He's not. Oh, really? And they are now tied. It's because How did you hit that much? A llama's ten. Two llamas, right? Because they don't double up. Oh, nobody told me that. Did you guys oh, no, the llamas do double up. So. Oh, okay. So oh, cool. they're, Yeah, you only have 21. Okay, oh, so my so goodness. Right. I would have so totally went out earlier, but I thought <laughs> they didn't. So I was sitting there going, I have a handful of llamas. I have to play this out. So you have 24 points. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That is correct. Right? You're the most familiar with the game. Um, llamas don't double up, right? So as, far, as far as I understand, in the rule book, it, it explicitly states that they don't. All it right. explicitly states that, yeah, nothing can be a double point value. Even the llamas. Even okay. the llamas. All right, all right. Sweet. That's so that was a crazy bad. hand. So but my current score is 14. What is everybody else at currently? I'm at 33. 24. 24. Seven. 
Seven. Seven. Seven. Seven. Who's dealing this out? That'd be me. Yeah, you are. There was a few times that I thought for sure I can just waltz out of this one. Yeah. And then, nope. I was starting to think you locked in with a bunch of fives. I was like, clearly something has gone <laughs> horribly wrong with this game. That'd be brilliant. That, that, that is a strategy for really sure. It is. I didn't even think about that. I was just, yeah. Something to think about. It's a brave move though, because you're banking on knowing for sure there's not one more left in the deck. So it does appear that there are ten of each card, based on my quick observational card counting skills. Yeah. yeah. One, two, so three. If I have six yeah, ones. I have six. I'm gonna lock in right now. Well, I'm at 33 now, so it could end. Okay, so we're, we're banking on everybody ganging up on Michael now. Or this will wind up being a one hour special of Game Night. <laughs> I did, I, I was invited here for a quick game, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the plan. This is, this is a filler game, right? <laughs> yes, only four yes. of us. It's only four <laughs> of us. <laughs> Just remember that Aaron is a game aficionado and distributor, but not a casino dealer. This is fair. Yes. Going this down is true. to the Although end I do of the live table. right beside one. By one what? Casino. Oh, really? Yep. So, for all those of you at home who want to stock Aaron, now you know where to find him. <laughs> by a, a casino. Right by the casino. A casino. <laughs> Somewhere um, in this world. Look at this. This game's already begun. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. A, th a three. Uh, I can't do that. Wow. Five. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Really doing that to me? <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> five? I'll take five. All right. So I'm getting a total yes. of three points. I'm getting a total of fourteen. Wow! You're just like cutthroat. Just like let it be done. All right. So three that puts three. me at thirty-eight. I'm two away. So I mean, what we could do is next hand we could just all fold right <laughs> away. <laughs> Once he plays his hand out, someone's eating the hot way. I'm just saying. <laughs> That seems terribly mean, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> I think this is, this I know is part of the strategy. Just for the strategy. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're now picking up on something I think we were missing before. Yeah. The vengefulness of, of this game. Well, that's, that's what you was so, so funny in the round that I went out super, super early on, was that the three of you were kind of just like letting each other play. I was like, that, that's not going to help my strategy of going out super early. You guys have to, you know, start doing the, the hate folding, where you're just like, he's got more cards than I do, I'm out, you know? Yeah. Well, I only just realized that strategy this very hand. <laughs> I, I don't know, I didn't pick up on it. I've been playing it all game. Oh, uh, did I, I get my 13? Study. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should give you points. Yeah, I needed, uh, was it 14? You need 14 more? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So he's not out already, right? We're just... Nope, he's not. Getting those 14. He's at 27 points. Ah. So he's in the neighborhood, though. And this is to me. Two. Two. Three. Four. My favorite number. Five. Why is four your favorite number? Six. I used to play in minor league hockey, and I always wore number four. Okay. So. It's interesting to know. Four is also my favorite number. Is it really? It is. Why is four your favorite number? Uh, because my online handle that I go by is Forsaken, oh. which phonetically. Fair enough. Um, 
Five. Ooh, immediately switching over to the one. Two. Three. Well, he's drawing cards. This is a good sign. I'm going to fold. I'm going to go out and get rid of my black. Oh. Oh, my God. And that's the, that's, game. that's the game. So I did fold with 18 points in my hand. I oh, fold you are three. brave. So, yeah. A couple bad rounds, and I'm done. So, so the winner of our game is Jason. Yeah, and I, getting rid of that one black pip right at the end put me back in the lead. Five Absolutely, points. Yeah. So we had, uh, I had a great start, but couldn't maintain it. And that it looks like you had 32 points. At yeah, I, I did. And what is your final score? Uh, it would have been that plus three, so uh, 22, four, six. 30. So you'd be at 30, 30. 32, over 40? Five. Five. Well done, sir. All right. Very we're going nice. to take a minute, and we'll be right back with our, our review and rating of the game, and then we'll talk about who's going to sit in the hot seat. We'll be right back. And we're back. My guests and I have taken a few moments to review the game and rate the game. Now we'll just take a moment to share our thoughts with you, the viewer. So for me, uh, my first impression was I gave it a 7 out of 10. Uh, I don't really have much to add to that. It was just the first impression when I saw it. I wasn't super overwhelmed by it, but it seemed like... I was going to understand it right away, which moves me into ease to learn. I actually give it the full 10. I thought it was really easy to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, d I don't necessarily knock it if we just have one or two questions. I think that's pretty reasonable for a game. Quality, I put it at a 7. I'm not super impressed with the quality of the pieces. But I'm willing to bet that this is probably going to be an entry-level game that's going to be super affordable because I've seen some other games by Amigo that are really good value. So it, because it's probably going to be a super affordable game, 7 seems like a very fair rating for it. Overall to play, I give it an 8. I, I enjoyed it a fair bit, like quite a bit actually. Uh, likely to re recommend, for me I give it an 8 with a little asterisk beside it, because I would give it an 8 uh, if I see anyone who's got a family with younger kids, or someone who again is looking just for a quick game you can pick up and play uh, and not like get too in depth with. Uh, I definitely think there's a lot of people out there who are looking for games like this, so if someone's looking for a game like this, this would definitely be one of the ones that I would recommend. So, I'm really terrified right now because we've all given our <laughs> reviews and I know what's coming next and I lost this game you did so I'm going to vote right now okay that <coughs> it's gonna be Jason me because you were the one who came up with the idea that we should all just fold our hands and see if we can play it out because he'll then lose I think that I think that was Aaron that so actually. I'll have to go back and check the Check the tape. <laughs> Check the tape. I mean, I enacted it. But I yeah. could be wrong, but that's Ooh. my vote. Matt? Uh, I'm actually going to pass the buck over to McNeil to let him vote next. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You gave me the idea. You're getting the vote. Okay. <laughs> so that's right. two votes two for votes Jason. For <laughs> Matt? I'm not your best friend. Who do you feel like voting for? Uh, so I am going to vote. Give me an out, Matt. I think the best part is this game, it's not about who loses the game anymore. It's like, <laughs> I'd be the clear so eater of hot wings. To clear Jason of, of that heat, I'm really the one that put that <laughs> mentality into practice to start. So I'm actually going to vote for myself for being you the one to eat destroy the just fun of the game. You just want to eat hot wings. Oh my goodness. Do you strategically vote or do you Do I strategically know vote? Uh, <laughs> Honestly, no, I'm going to keep my ethics intact. And what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to vote for the person that I think deserves the vote. And I think the person that deserves the vote is the person who lost the game, Michael. <laughs> so as a result of that vote, two votes for me, one for Michael, one for Matthew, I will definitely be sitting in the hot seat for the first time. So that's fun. So uh, we're going to cut away, and we'll be back in a minute to enjoy my pain and suffering. We'll see you soon. Welcome back. And we're here with the hot seat with uh, Jason, who's sitting in it. And uh, this is, I understand, your first time in the hot seat. You've earned the title. That's right. I, I've never sat in this chair out of superstitious reasons until just this moment. So 
It feels good and bad at the same time. So you'll notice that not only do you have a prepared wing in front of you, we've also got a prepared wing in front of Matt. That's correct, yeah. I've decided to um, not let Jason take this one alone. I'm going to be here as moral and, and emotional support for him to eat the spicy wing as well. I thought it was just because you missed lunch. <laughs> But no comment. I think it's more like misery <laughs> loves company. Is what yeah, absolutely. Something like that. So yeah. this is the bomb and Dubom. beyond uh, insanity. Yes. This is the bomb beyond insanity. This sauce is so hot it gets its so, own subtitle, like a movie. So what I don't understand is when I watched the wings get prepared, we didn't just see a, a spritzing of this. This no. was like doused and then doused again. Yes. Yep. That's the beyond insanity portion. All right. Yeah. So. Please enjoy, <laughs> and uh, this might be our last episode. This might be. This could be the series finale. Who knows? <laughs> so who takes it on after you, you know? <laughs> I bequeath my TV show to you. Oh, you know? okay. Right. Cheers. Cheers, my friends. Thank you for <laughs> supporting me on this. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. It's a wild ride. I, Why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I dodged a bullet losing that game. <laughs> oh, yeah, because like, you can smell just how mm. spicy it is. <laughs> I like a good hot sauce, but that smelled like, it's like I don't know, it, like it, it was like what they scraped off the bottom of the hot sauce factory floor. Uh, well, like the vat so boils it down. It's <laughs> how was it? It was great. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I had a really good time. Yeah, I yeah. Know, I know from previous experience that this is a sauce that starts the back of your throat, and as you talk, it burns more and more. And like, it's not a sauce that hits you, well, it hits you really bad right away, but it keeps getting worse. It does. And worse. And worse. And worse. Yeah, so Llama was really, really fun. Um, I know we didn't get the highest ratings that we've ever given out on a game, but oh, for the price point, for the market, still fantastic. Yeah. It's definitely something you can bust out in between plays or when you're waiting for something. Or I'd also like to thank the original Wing House located just down the road here in Pantang Machine. For donating what was originally delicious wings that we then <laughs> tortured with this hot sauce. So big shout out to them. Thank you to all three of my guests for joining me today. No Th problem. Thank you, Aaron. Help, Help me. Of course. <laughs> my name is Matthew. <laughs> Beside me, Michael. And, uh, and that. this has been Game Night in the North. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye. <laughs>